So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at derivatives with arbitrary exponents. So let's just remind ourselves of, of the power rule, which tells us how we can differentiate something of the form x to the n. So the derivative with respect to x of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. And the way this is usually first introduced is where n is an integer, actually even a positive integer. But it turns out that this formula works no matter what n is. So let's look at some examples. If f of x equals x to the fourth, then it's what we usually see first, right? This is just a nice positive integer. So this means that f prime of x is 4 times x cubed, right? The 4, the exponent comes down out front, and then the new exponent is 4 minus 1, which is 3. But it doesn't have to be an integer. So let's say that f of x is x to the, say, 5 thirds. This means that f prime of x is 5 thirds times x to the 5 thirds minus 1. Exponent doesn't even have to be rational or positive. So let's say f of x equals x to the negative square root of 2. Then f prime of x is negative square root of 2 times x raised to the power negative square root of 2 minus 1. Right, so this formula is, holds for all of these examples. This is also how we differentiate e expressions with roots. And let's do an example of that now. So if f of x is the square root of x, then we're going to use this same rule to find the derivative. But the first thing we have to do is rewrite this, because if, as it's written here, there's no exponent. So what we want to do is look at this in this form. Right? Because remember, x to the 1 half is the same as square root of x. Taking the square root is the same as raising to the 1 half power. So now we can apply the rule that we just saw to find f prime of x. So this is 1 half x to the 1 half minus 1. Now, if you're not told to simplify, you can probably leave it like this. But this is common enough that I do want to carry this all the way through to its fully simplified form. Well, depends on what you mean by fully simplified, but something that's a little more, uh, more easily digested than this. So the first thing, let's simplify that exponent. So we have 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Now, if we want to get rid of the negative, we can flip that uh, x to the negative 1 half into the denominator. So we get 1 half times 1 over x to the 1 half. Right? These 1 halves are the same, and x to the negative 1 half is the same as 1 over x to the 1 half. But now we can rewrite this, finally, as 1 over 2 times the square root of x. So it's good to know. The square root of x, the derivative, is 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Let's do another example. Let's say that f of x is the cube root of x. Well, again, whenever we're differentiating, we want to rewrite roots as exponents. And taking the cube root of something is the same as raising to the one-third power. So here, f prime of x is one-third x to the one-third minus one. And if we want, we can rewrite this as one-third x to the negative two-thirds. Now, we can combine root expressions with any other kind of expression that we can differentiate. So let's look at an example of that. So let's say that f of x is the fourth root of x plus 
x to the fifth. Well, step one, rewrite fourth root as an exponent. So this becomes x to the one-fourth plus 3x to the fifth. That means that f prime of x is one-fourth times x to the one-fourth minus one plus three times the derivative of x to the fifth. The five comes down, multiplies by the three, and we get 15 times x to the five minus one, which is x to the fourth. So f prime is one-fourth x to the negative three-fourths plus 15x to the fourth.